So let's start to look on the, on the first one, a PV effect. So the photovoltaic effect is a both a physical and a chemical phenomenon whereby both voltage and current is produced. This is really important to remember this. So you're producing both a voltage and a current as a result of the sunlight hitting your solar panel. Now that's just a technical description of how a solar panel work, works. I find it often most easy to explain things with a diagram. So let's go to the whiteboard and let me use the whiteboard in order to explain how a solar panel and how a solar cell actually works. And I'm using the word solar cell here because a solar cell are the, the square or the rectangular blocks that are used in order to build a solar panel. If you zoom into a solar panel, you'll see that a solar panel is actually built of a lot of identical um, rectangular or square materials that together form the solar panel. Now these solar cells, so the building blocks of the panel, consist entirely of a semiconductor material. It's called a semiconductor because it conducts electricity, but it doesn't conduct it that well, therefore it's called a semiconductor. Now what they're doing in the factory as they're making these solar cells is that they're taking the semiconductor and they alter the chemical properties of the semiconductor and this is a process referred to as doping. So during the doping process they are applying a certain chemical treatment to one side of the semiconductor so that this one side becomes a let's say a positively charged side of the semiconductor but they are applying a different chemical treatment to the other side of the semiconductor and therefore the other side will become a negatively charged side of the semiconductor. Now the result of these chemical treatments and the effect of now having a positive or a P side and a negative or an N side is that between the positive and negative side in the semiconductor we're getting a very thin boundary layer um, which we refer to as the PN junction and the PN junction this is what it's all about this is what we're trying to create and this is where the the magic of the pv effect happens because if we take this semiconductor with a pn junction and we hold it in front of the sun then electrons want to jump from one side to the other side of the semiconductor they want to jump over the pn junction inside of the semiconductor and electrons which are the uh, the building blocks or the driving force behind electricity. They want to jump from one side to the other side. And this then is the start of an electrical circuit. And then in order to use the electricity which is being created over the PN junction, we connect bus bars. We install bus bars on both the positive and negative side of the semiconductor. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. And then to these two different bus bars, we connect wires and then we lead the wires, we connect the wires to our load. So the, your load is the technical term for anything that you intend to consume the electricity, right? It can be an electrical light bulb, an electrical motor, it can be a battery. So anything that consumes the, uh, the power from your source, from your solar panel, is called your load. So in this way you are using now the electricity that is being produced by the electrons jumping from one side to the other side. You're taking this power through the bus bars and leading it to your load. So this is how a semiconductor is being converted into a photovoltaic cell and then by by means of the solar power hitting the solar cell, you're creating electricity and you're feeding this to your load and you've now created an electrical circuit. So that's a pretty quick run through of the PV effect, the photovoltaic effect, but at least you've got an understanding, you've got a basic knowledge of how the solar cells work, what the driving force behind your solar panel is, right? Um, so now let's look on the next subject and look, let's look at the materials that you could use or that are being used to produce these solar cells and therefore to produce the solar panels. So the first one is the thin film material. So it's a very thin